Today I'm going to talk to you about the Alphafly 2's tight fit fix. Why I did it, how I did it, and also the results in a race scenario. In short, it was to be a bit quicker in and out of transition for a triathlon because they were a bit too tight to get on quickly. And as a professional, you need to have them like on quickly so you don't miss the race. Pretty tight to get on in transition. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. See if I can find a solution for it. I tried the size above, but they were too loose. No, the solution was not a shoehorn. I, even though you guys did suggest it, I didn't use that in the race. But instead I cut into them and it worked. So let's get straight into it. Why did I do it? Well, as I mentioned, it was to do with the fact that they were quite tight to put on. And yes, Nike did design them like this so that they fit like a glove. Thank you everyone that did like obviously inform me of this in the comments in the last video. I'll link that above. But also like it was a case of I could not get them on quickly in transition or out of transition, like you can't get them on quickly when you're going out training. And at a pro level, you can't afford this. You can't afford to let the race go away from you. And I learned that the hard way in T1 in Kashkai. Unfortunately, I had a zip malfunction with my suit, couldn't get it zipped up quickly. Two guys went up the road and unfortunately, I couldn't work with them then for the rest of the race. It probably cost me quite a bit of time in the race itself. But it's one of these things, I couldn't have foreseen the zip. Um, not working, but I did try and foresee the fact that the shoes were a bit too tight to get on quickly in transition. Still quite uh, solid underfoot and a little bit tight around the sides. I can feel them on my on the sides of my feet, so we'll see how they go. Next, how did I do it? I actually asked a lot of people like what they would recommend. I asked you guys on the internet and on YouTube what you would do to try and fix it. And a lot of you recommended a shoehorn. And don't get me wrong, I think that's a great idea if you're just going to a race and a running race. I think that's exactly what I would have done to try and help me get the shoe on. I just don't think it would have been quite quick enough for me to be able to like use within the race. So yeah, I did do a fair bit of research online who did what. I saw Hayden had like cut into his upper and then velcroed over the top to keep them secure. But actually I asked Fred, uh, someone in my squad that you'll have seen on the channel before, and he actually recommended and showed me what he'd seen and what he'd do with the shoe. And to be honest, I just trusted him. And in short, it was to cut into the upper where the tongue usually is. Now, I was a bit worried about the tongue splitting a little bit further than what I'd cut because I only cut it a small amount. I only cut it maybe like a, an inch or two down and I thought that this would be enough. I tested it out before um, I cut any further, so I did it incrementally and just made sure that it was going to be quick enough and easy enough for me to get the shoe on in transition. But I practiced it a few times and there was no further fraying. There was no further splitting of the tongue down and it actually just worked really well like in practice. So I thought that during the race or within the race that it would be more than sufficient to actually use and not have to worry about it. I did however put elastic laces in them as well just for that extra sense of security but I don't actually think they helped with any of the structural integrity or the lack of fraying. I think it was just there for my benefit, just for my kind of reassurance, making sure that they weren't going to split any further. But yeah, it worked. Like I couldn't, like I could believe it, but it really did work. Like I tried it out beforehand, obviously did a practice run in them, and then during the race they were fantastic. I didn't really notice that they were cut. Like they still fit like a glove. They still had that structural integrity that they're really, really good for, and way more stable than the first generation of Alpha Fives that I did use, and any other of the Nike Next Percent shoes, to be quite honest. Obviously, this isn't in the manufacturer's guidelines and Nike didn't intend for this to be the case, so I can't recommend people actually do this themselves. However, it worked for me. So, you know, uh, the example's there, I guess, but I'm not recommending people use it by any means. Uh, I don't want to run the risk of it not working out for other people. So yeah, just disclaimer here. 
don't go and do it yourself. But it did work for me, and I'll be continuing to use these shoes into next season. I thought they were great, I thought they were amazing. Uh, they're really, really stable, and it had nothing to do with how I ran in Qashqai. That was a completely different reason for not running as quick as I usually do. Uh, it was due to lack of nutrition, but hopefully next time out, I'll be able to do the shoes justice, do myself justice, and get the result that I'm hoping for. So yeah, if you got value out of this, if you are gonna use some tips and tricks that I've been talking about, or in previous videos, do hit that like button, do hit subscribe and comment below on your thoughts on what I've done. Please don't damn me too much. Uh, it was a little bit mad. I had a little bit of a mad moment, but I think it worked out for the best in the end.